So I was having a wank in Dubai. <laughs> It's a good place to masturbate, and um, I was just outside having some lunch, lowered my cutlery and went, it's time. <laughs> That's enough vitamin D, time for some vitamin me. <laughs> and I went up to my room, right, and I sat at the side of the bed, and I opened up my laptop to watch some gay porn, because I'm gay. Oh, sorry, did that hit you, by the way? <laughs> oh, all right, oh, God, oh, that's how you catch it. <laughs> One bit of a party popping, like, <laughs> cock. <laughs> <laughs> I was so worried that that was not going to pop. I don't think there's anything sadder than when a party popper doesn't pop. <laughs> You know when, like, the party popper pops, but the party stays inside? <laughs> so put that down there. Okay, um, so I was trying to, oh yeah, so I was trying to watch some Welcome to Homosexual Community, and, um, <laughs> are you nodding, are you already, already a member? Rainbow Socks. Rainbow Socks, yeah, look, all right. Yeah, so having your badge on your chest is such a straight person thing to do. Like. <laughs> I love that you go for the socks as well as if someone going, hey, are you gay? Yeah, look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Looking for you having the rainbow socks. Um, and, uh, actually, who is gay? <laughs> oh, cool. Well, five or six of us, cool. And, uh, and Are you human? <laughs> Can I borrow one of those socks? <laughs> I hope you've got tomorrow off. This might take a while. Right, so I opened up my laptop, tried to watch some of the gay porn, because I'm gay, and uh, I don't need to keep clarifying that. Um, I don't think anybody will watch this and think, oh, he's straight, but he watches gay porn. Very progressive of you. Well done. <laughs> but I was trying to watch some gay porn, but I couldn't uh, because it was blocked. It's illegal to be gay in Dubai, right? Which is actually weird. There's gay bars in Dubai. Uh, oh, not gay, gay bars. Uh, prisons. <laughs> But since the gay porn was blocked, I had to watch some of the straight stuff. <laughs> Long time listener, first time caller. <laughs> it's very weird watching straight porn as a gay Catholic. <laughs> I was wanking and I was thinking, my dad would be so proud of me right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's a weird thing though, because I actually don't blame people in Dubai for being homophobic because they've kind of been brainwashed into thinking that way. Like, because I used to be homophobic, I hated myself for ages because I got brought up as a Catholic and I thought homosexuality was wrong and evil. Now I just think it's naughty. <laughs> I... But I think most gay people have that thing of getting over the initial shame of it. Like, my shame run deep, by the way, because I, I was so Catholic and so ashamed of who I was that I thought of going to a Pray the Gay Away camp. And, uh, I know, but you know what, what you think of Pray the Gay Away camps? It's weirdly a catchy name. <laughs> the name sounds gay friendly, like, oh, you're gonna Pray the Gay Away? Not today, but okay. <laughs> thing of if something rhymes people think it's true I think if the word gay was a word that had no rhyme there wouldn't be as many camps for it 
If the word gay was like a word like orange that has no rhyme, there wouldn't be as many camps. Also, if gay people were called orange people, we'd get more pride parades in Scotland and Northern Ireland. <laughs> But pray the gateway camps, they are so weird, man, right? And you can look this up when you go home, right? What they do is they measure you using a Kinsey scale, which is a scale of one to six of how gay you are. It's like, who measures anything one to six? It's either one to five or one to 10. What must have happened is it was originally one to five. <laughs> and somebody's turned up. <laughs> and they were just so gay. Like, oh my God, he's a six. <laughs> it truly is the number of the beast. <laughs> just some guy looking like an inflatable man outside of a car dealership. Like, I'm so glad I didn't go, obviously, but also I'm glad I didn't go because if I went and it worked, that'd be awful. Because coming out of the closet is quite difficult, but going back in, <laughs> that must be a mission. I remember actually, you see when I was, uh, back when I was straight, um, loads of my mates used to call me a big poofter, and as soon as I came out as gay, they just stopped calling me it. <laughs> I could not be straight again. I wouldn't be able to handle the homophobia. <laughs> After, after the shame thing you get over, then you have the, uh, well, gay people tend to have an identity crisis. The ones I know, I had an identity crisis. Basically, before I came out as gay, I was like, I have to be as straight acting as possible. Right? You know, that straight acting thing, right? And then as soon as I came out as gay, I was like, oh, I can be myself. And I was like, who am I? And <laughs> so then I went really far the other way and I tried to be camp. And, uh, and I used to like go around with my wrist down. And I know I don't look camp, I just look ill. <laughs> I did that for a while and I got to go to Disneyland for free, so it wasn't all bad. <laughs> but nobody thought I was gay, right? So I started putting my bum out as well. That's my problem. If I was camp, I would just look like a dinosaur. Just walking down the road like that. Oh, there's a sail on. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry, buddy. <laughs> just, just going like that. Like. Stay still. His vision is based on movement. <laughs> Are you okay? Okay, cool. <laughs> sorry. How was my flirting? Was that all right? <laughs> <laughs> Can I see your socks? <laughs>